We got some glitter and glamorous figures. Sailor Moon always gets me in a mood. Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Ochi. I'm a Sailor Moon merchandise blogger that is bringing you guys an unboxing and review of the very latest Sailor Moon figure. This is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal The Movie Glitter and Glamour's Super Sailor Moon figure by Ban Presto. Oh my gosh, that was a mouthful. Glitter and Glamours is Banpresto's largest female figure line, and they've already been releasing female characters from other animes for a while now. However, this is Sailor Moon's very first appearance in the series. How exciting! You did it, Sailor Moon! You made it! In Japan, these are normally crane game machine prizes, and they typically come in two types. They come in a type A, which is the normal color of the anime character, and they also come in a type B, which is a cute pastel color. So there are just very small differences in the colors. Sadly, I only have type A to unbox in this video today, but I do have the type Bs on the way soon, so I will be doing a comparison video between the type A and type B once that type B comes in. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video that is coming up soon. I am so, so excited to open her up. Look how large the box looks. I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get to opening her. Here is the box of the Glitter and Glamour's Super Sailor Moon figure from Sailor Moon Eternal the Movie. I want to show you guys the size of this box just so you get an idea. We're sitting at about 10 inches it looks like. So this box is quite large. And just for comparison purposes, I know a lot of you guys are familiar with the Girls Memories figure of Sailor Moon. Look at the size difference between the two boxes. Glitter and Glamours is huge compared to this figure. Just so you guys get an idea, just in case you don't have your Glitter and Glamours Super Sailor Moon figure yet, you can anticipate it being much larger than these. Hey guys, while I'm thinking about it, please hit that thumbs up button for me. That's a free way to support my channel and I'd really appreciate it if you liked it. So we'll go ahead and just look at the box. I want to show you guys the side of the box here has a very beautiful image of the type A of Sailor Moon Glitter and Glamour's figure. And zooming up close here, it does say actual size, color, style, and decoration may vary. We shall move it to the back. And this is more of a horizontal image, which what a beautiful spread this has. I love the flowers they in incorporated here on the side. I'll bring it up a little bit closer here. Sorry for the glares, guys. These boxes are really shiny. I got a kick out of this description of this figure down here. It says this is a large scale figure made with high quality details, such as the slightly wrinkled slightly wrinkled guys clothing and the flowing hair also notice they are showing both the types on the box here this is the type a that we're opening up today and this is the type b the cute pastel color that was the back here is another side of the box just showing a little bit more detail about the figure what to expect inside the box they show a close-up of sailor moon's face on the box so you can really see how beautiful the paint is on this figure. Goes into detail and shows some more shots. Love the detail that they did with her Crisis Moon Compact. And the only other things that I wanted to point out on the box is the top, which you might have already seen a little bit of a preview when I set it on the table. Pretty flowers here, and then they tell you which type it is on the top corner here. No Toei Animation sticker on this box at all. I did not find one, so that's interesting. This is the very bottom of the box. Again, you don't see the Toei Animation sticker anywhere on these. This must be typical for the Glitter and Glamours line because both of my A's did not come with that. And these are my very first Glitter and Glamours figures, so I'm not sure if these typically come with their authenticity sticker. Again, I wanted to point that out because the girl's memory figures have the Toei animation sticker, but these do not. So don't get alarmed if yours comes without a Toei animation sticker, it still could be legit. I think we're ready to slice it open. As with these figures, I prefer to open them at the bottom, just in case I ever resell them. I can just easily put them back in the bottom and then the top stays beautiful. So I'm just gonna cut the tape. They are sealed in this box just by a piece of tape on the sides here. So we will just slice and, oops, 
I made a I made a boo boo. I just spliced the box. My bad. I'm watching it through the camera. This is really difficult watching it through the camera. A little bit of trivia while I open up this box here. These were originally supposed to come out September 2020. However, they got pushed back in Japan, and their new release date was December 2020. So that's why I just now getting it now. Ooh, what's going on here? A lot of empty space in this box. Should be able just to pull this out. Oh, there's a lot of cardboard in this. So the Sailor Moon figure is secured inside this cardboard wrapper. We'll just go ahead and remove the tape. Ooh, there she is. All wrapped in plastic. Nice. So the entire figure comes individually wrapped, really. They kept everything away from each other. We got her main body piece here. They've got each pigtail and her back bow and the stand over here, all individually wrapped. What I ended up doing is just cutting a slice so I could just remove them like this. Oh my gosh can't believe I'm holding this in my hands. I mean, when they first announced these, I could not picture owning this because it was just too cool. We get a taste of Sailor Moon Eternal before the movie comes out. I'm a collector, I'm nutty, and I like to keep the plastic, and I'm gonna put it back in the box for storage. These are the only pieces you get, so just a little bit of assembly, not much at all. It's really self-explanatory, so no instructions required. As you can see, Sailor Moon's head has these notches in it for her pigtails that you can just put in. Oh, you gotta kinda use a little bit of pressure to get it in. Here goes the next pigtail, if I can get it in. The pieces are a bit flexible, so definitely have some caution putting these on so you don't end up breaking this at all. These are definitely display figures and not toys. I love the movement in her pigtails. They look like they're just blowing in the wind. I love you. The back bow looks to be pretty easy to put on. Ta-da! I think they did an excellent job on her. Look at the paint quality, you guys. The eyes are perfect. The mouth is perfect. The nose, I know it's not painted, but I just love the sculpt of it. Her face looks perfect. Love the gold that they used on the tiara to make it look shiny. Her boots have a glorious shine to them. Check that out. This may be my favorite Sailor Moon figure ever, and it's just a prize figure. Look at the detail on her Crisis Moon Compact. We have the use of gradient for her skirt color, just like the manga in Sailor Moon Eternal. They did great there. The lines on her collar are perfect. Look how big she is in my hands. I believe this figure is 23 cm, which is just a little bit over nine inches tall, but let's check that. There you have it, folks. Just a little over nine inches tall. So this base just attaches to her right foot here like that. So you can see how it's flush with that mold there. So she should be able to stand on her own now. There's your bird's eye view. She is standing. There you have it, my friends. The Sailor Moon Eternal Super Sailor Moon Glitter and Glamours figure. She's really beautiful. Let's go talk about her some more. I am so impressed with this figure. I'm almost speechless. I mean, I could definitely tell you that this has to be one of the coolest Sailor Moon figures to have come out in a long time. We haven't gotten anything this size, this quality, this easy to get, and this affordable in a very long time. I am so freaking impressed. Only critique that I can give this figure is the stand. I think that the stand is an obnoxiously colored yellow. I know that they were trying to go with maybe a color scheme, maybe with her hair. They are dead set on using something like this. I would have loved to see maybe a clear stand or maybe a white stand. The yellow is very bizarre. But let me know down there in the comments to anybody out there who's familiar with the Glitter and Glamours line of figures, do they normally all come with the yellow base? Maybe this is just standard for this line. And like I said, this is my very first Glitter and Glamours figure, so I am not familiar with the line. I'm about to be though. 
uh, collecting all of these new Sailor Moon figures coming out from Glitter and Glamours, we were getting an actual Eternal Sailor Moon later as well. In comparison to the girls' memory line of figures, I really loved their bases that they came with. I think it flowed with the figure very nicely. So this base here is um, just a little, a little odd. It totally reminds me of the uh, Gashapon Sailor Moon World figures that came with little bases. However, I think those were white and some were clear. So I kind of wish they just changed the color of this base. But that is my only critique of this figure. Other than that, I have nothing but positive things to say. Look at the size difference. Look at the size difference. I know a lot of you guys have this figure out there. Just wait till you get this gigantic gal. I think the durability, like if she were to fall off the shelf or something, is going to be fine. I did mention that her pigtails have some flex to them. So that would be my only concerns of breakage, especially down here. This might be able to tear if you're not careful. But as far as durability goes, I feel like this figure is very sturdy. I looked mine over real well, guys. I don't see any paint defects on this figure. And for a prize figure that runs around $24.99, that's incredible that the paint job is so superb on such an affordable figure. I'm impressed. I am so impressed with this figure. Am I having a hard time showing it? Can you guys tell that I am in freaking love with her? This is what Sailor Moon fans wanted and needed. Would I recommend the Sailor Moon Glitter and Glamours figure? 100%. 10 out of 10. I love her. So I ended up getting my type A's from AmiAmi.com. And for those of you guys who don't know about AmiAmi, Ami, they're a Japanese retailer that sells Japanese items for retail cost. So they're a great place to order Sailor Moon goods. However, they did not get the type B in. They only got the type A's. So I ended up ordering my type B from Amazon Japan they do ship to the United States for certain items. And luckily they did it for the Super Sailor Moon Glitter and Glamours figure. So my bees are on the way. We're gonna do another video once they arrive so we can really see the color difference between the two types. I hope you guys tune into that video too. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. So they are sold out at a lot of places right now. However, I don't think it's the end of the world. I do believe places like Hot Topic and Box Lunch will eventually carry the Glitter and Glamours figures once they're released in January 2021. That's the international release date when they come over to the international market. So yes, Japan came out in December 2020, but the rest of the world will get it in January 2021. You guys know I'm your merch mama and I will keep you up to date on any new order links that come out. Whether they come out on Hot Topic or Box Lunch, I will keep you guys linked up. So make sure you guys are following me on my Facebook page or Twitter account as those are the two social media accounts that I use to merchandise blog. Links to those down there in the description. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this Super Sailor Moon Glitter and Glamours figure? Did you pre-order it? Do you already have it? Did you not order it and why? Let's have a discussion about this figure down there in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope this video changed your mind if you were on the fence or did not order her yet because I really believe everybody that's a Sailor Moon fan needs to have this figure. I don't even care if you're not a collector. You need to have her somewhere in your home, apartment, office, whatever. She is incredible and so affordable. I believe that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe as those are free ways to support this channel. I have my tip jar and all of my affiliate links down there in the description as well if you want to support the channel further. I appreciate all of you. Love you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next video.